perch for a little bit, but I'm out of USB slots for my controller, and I didn't feel like rearranging things back behind my desk. Because it would have required it, so you guys are going to find out anyways, but spoiler alert, we have a Brontosaurus now. He's not super useful, like he doesn't do a lot of stuff, he kind of just stands over here. But we have one now, which is kind of cool. I mean, he's all over the place, so, you know, with his wang-like neck. He's got like a seam running up the side of his neck, it looks like he was sewed together. Hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? Yeah, we've got Mash Nasty over here. I, I got him in today's episode that I recorded. Can't really do anything with him. Because the game is so stilted with regards to its levels, I actually think the game probably would have done fine without levels, to be honest. But, I don't know, maybe unlocking recipes a different way, I think, would have worked better. Because with the way the level cap works, like, long before you ever hit max level, you will have done everything in the game anyways. And so it's kind of a weird thing that they put levels in the game that takes so long to accrue. Still, we've got a Brontosaurus. We can't really do anything with him until we level up a little bit more. But there it is. There it is. We got ourselves a Brontosaurus who's just going to hang out down there. I was going to tame that one way the hell over there, too. And in fact, I guess we could just do that today. I mean, he'll stay knocked out for, like, hours and hours and hours. So technically, we could have multiple Brontosauruses if we wanted them. I guess. Let me go find Shiggity and we'll go ahead and do that, I suppose. It'll work out okay. Let me go ahead and where is... Who do I need right now? I needed Shiggity Schwan! Hey, what's up, Loop, and welcome to the stream. Yeah, we got ourselves a Bronto already. This thing, I swear to God, every day it drops a beacon on my house. This would suck if I was playing online. That mean I'd have, like, little five-year-old characters. Well, level five characters anyways. I don't know if they're the same thing, running up on my base all the time trying to break shit. Like, mm. Wait, what's up? Hey, what's up, Coz? Welcome to the stream. How's it going, man? Suhel, hey, how's it going? How is it going? Yeah, there's some kind of latency involved with my camera, and it's totally on OBS's end. Like, I don't know why it does it, but my camera is always, like, a half a second behind everything I do, which is weird because I record, I record my video logs with the exact same camera, and that's not behind, so I don't know. I gotta sit and fiddle with it for... Where the hell is Shiggity? Where did he go? Shiggity! Where'd you go, buddy? Shiggity? Where you at, buddy? You around here anywhere? Okay, so we got Mash Nasty, Lash Nasty. Where the hell did my Pteranodon go? Got all the dipshit dodos over here that I can handle. Where's my... T hmm. Where's my Pteranodon? Where did he go? Hold on for a second, I gotta fix the gamma real fast. It resets it every time I turn the game off. There we go, gamma looks a little bit better now, so I don't have to constantly have, like, a random thing up. Hey, what's up, McGonagall? Hey, Snorlax, welcome. Uh, Anal Gamer, hey, how's it going? I thought your name was Anal Gamer for a second. I was like, so, are you really just OCD, or I think I need more exp- Where the hell is my Pteranodon? This is the weirdest thing ever. Where did he go? Hey, Blood Rage, how's it going? I have no idea where Shiggity is at. I parked him over here somewhere. I know that I did. Weird. If it despawned another one of my characters, I'm going to be very upset. Ooh, storage boxes. I needed those. Yay! We actually got something that's useful. Like, half the time it's just like a bunch of pipes or something. And while I do have uses for pipes, those are different types of pipes. So anyways, let's go back this way. My crack pipe. Be like, mm, I feel so good. I want those storage boxes. We'll put them over here because I am actually like really, really out of storage space. And so maybe I'll put them in. I don't know. Maybe we'll just continue our little semicircular thing we're doing right here. So go right there. Okay. So that's looking pretty good. And then maybe we'll put one like over here. There we go. All better. Hell yeah, that seems nice. Hey, Stage GST, how's it going, man? I think I keep hitting escape for some reason. Why am I hitting escape? What was- oh, it's Terraria's fault. I've been playing Terraria. That's why I keep hitting escape. And then I needed a cooking pot, which actually seems like it might be a little bit more useful than my campfire over here. So let me destroy- do I have anything in there first before I destroy this? Okay. So let's demolish that. And then I'm gonna use the cook pot, which I never got around to making. So I got that out of a chest that landed on my base. So that's pretty cool. That'll be nice. I'll throw some wood in there, and I don't know, maybe throw some meat in. Maybe it'll cook. There we go. Life gets better. Life gets better every single time. I, I'm i glad you like them, Neptune. Hey, what's up? Paladire. Paladire. Hey, HD Robbie, welcome. Simon, not scared. Not scared right now. I'm a little bit worried about Shiggity, though. I mean, I can tame another one. It'll only take like a minute, but... Shiggity. There you go, buddy. 
Well, anyways, Shiggity's around here somewhere, I would hope. He might still be down on the beach. I think I left him down there a little bit ago. That might be where he's at. Hey, what's up, anime guy? Welcome to the stream. And then, yeah, I knew about the pubis. I remember that from my paleontology classes. Birds have it, too. It's the exact, it's called the same thing on birds. Oh, there, there's Cheeky Beaky and Freaky Beaky way the hell over there. Why are all my flyers way the hell over here? That's weird. Oh, that's right, they got, okay, I know why they're over here. I'm not going to explain it because it won't make sense anyways. But there's a reason they're all over here. All right, so you guys, come with me. Big birdie, quick run, quick see. We're going to fly in the sky. Do you want to ride a pteranodon? na 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 he ain't a birdie, d <laughs> well, he ain't a birdie, but don't push him. He'll put you on your ass, and it won't be soft as a cushion. Oh, those rhymes. Yep, there it is. White guy rhymes. Bring him in. It's okay that I was offbeat. It doesn't matter. Surreal, hey! Yeah, you still need a monster rig. I'm still playing the game on, like, no graphics at all, and I have a 980 GT X. So, like, yeah, nobody can run this game. And the people that can, it seems to be entirely random that they can run the game. Like, I can't run the game for shit on anything higher than medium. Even though the game says in its options that I should be able to play it on high with a GTX 980. Like, I vastly exceed the specs for this game and it still runs like shit. So I don't know what to tell you there. I believe... Uh, the carry weight for the Brano. Pretty sure it's huge. I don't know if I looked though. We can go take a look real fast. Let's see here. He's got a bunch of food on him. His carry weight is almost a thousand, so yeah, he can carry a bunch of stuff for us if we need him to. That means he could probably carry about 600 or 700 without being weighed down. We need to go farm out some meat, so that's what we're gonna do. Under 50 pounds is a pretty good pack. Usually I try to pack under 80 if I'm gonna be backpacking. I try to keep it light. I know some people that flat out won't take anything more than 50 pounds when they go in the field. I try to keep it under 80 if I'm gonna be backpacking. 150 would be a lot though. You got a strong back. That or you just don't care about his spine. But then again, when you need more guns, I guess you need more guns. Let's see. I'm not sure what you're asking, Telly. You want me to go to an underground cave? I actually, I can't get my shark is stuck. So until I get the shark saddle, I can't free him by using no clip mode. So unfortunately, there's a number of things we can't really do yet until I capture... I'd like to get a dolphin in this episode, maybe? Or in this stream, maybe capture a dolphin. I know I can actually kill these guys right here. It's a thing that I can accomplish. Actually, let's go hunting. I need to get some more meat. I'm going to try and stock up like 100, 150 meat so that we can start working on maybe taming a spino or something like that. I think that... Hey, Batavai... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, don't be a dick seems to be the general rule. But what I learned is when the only rule on Steam... I'm sorry, the only rule that I had on stream was don't be a dick. Apparently, that's very open to interpretation. Like, some people have widely varying margins of dickery. And so, you could just never tell. Uh, not a whole lot of crystals, to be honest. I do. I went out to Crystal Mines... Or I went out to Crystal Mountain in Polita Folds. And that's where I got a whole bunch of quartz crystals from there. And... It's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. In general, geologists and paleontologists on the whole aren't going to tell you where to get the good stuff because they don't want a bunch of, like, random rock hound tourist type people running around picking up all the rocks and fucking everything up when they're trying to do their work. So, for example, like, my paleontology teacher would never tell you where he got anything, but he got all of his specimens by hand, and he has them marked on a map in his office and everything, like, where he gets them all. And so, like, for example, we went out to get ammonites, and apparently he didn't want us to go to his secret ammonite spot. And so, like, he just, like, left us in the vans one time and, like, wandered out into the hills and got a bunch of ammonites and came back. And he was like, look, I told you there were ammonites out in the hills. But, like, people used to, like, typically nobody tells you where the good shit is at because if they find it, they want to keep it to themselves. Not because they're going to sell it, because, like, it's actually tremendously... Geologists and paleontologists who sell stuff like that they find in the field are considered to be bad human beings like it's against the rules You're not allowed to do that like knowledge is supposed to be given away. You're not supposed to charge for it Still there are people that do that like I know a guy that turns around 120 grand a year like buying and selling rocks He makes quite a bit of money got all you guys up and in over here paleontologist. It's even worse though. That's a great way to get yourself blacklisted in the paleontology community by selling fossils if you sell fossils, you're going to get blacklisted real fast. Like the, the academic community, especially if you've got like a PhD or whatever. 
people will figure it out and you will get blacklisted and kind of like laughed out of the academia community, I guess. I said academia, but you get what I mean. Why am I so heavy right now? What am I carrying? I got narcotics. Something here is weighing me down. What am I carrying? Uh, I don't stream Batman. I'm barely recording Batman, to be honest. I'm probably going to cancel it. Not enough public interest. But anyways, yeah, I don't stream Batman. I don't think anybody would show up for it anyways, to be honest. And it would disturb the YouTube playthrough. But, um, let me grab some water real fast. But yeah, I don't stream Batman, as far as I know, anyways. Unless I've been sleep streaming. Well, it depends where you get the fossils. I mean, if the fossils are on public land, technically they're the property of the United States government. Or if they're on any sort of, like, national land or anything like that, you probably shouldn't be. It's kind of like a sketch area, though. It's... If you, if you are educated and you have a degree and you're selling fossils, you're a pretty terrible human being and you're probably going to get laughed out of the community. And it's going to be difficult for you to do any sort of research or get a job if you do that kind of shit. Because people will hear about it and they will, like, act accordingly. It's against the rules. You're not allowed to do it. It's just, there's no law against it. It's just that it's kind of like one of those unwritten rules where you're not supposed to be doing it. I, I know guys that after they got out of college, that's all they do now is buy and sell fossils and rocks and things like that. And, man, they don't have any plans of being in academia, so it doesn't really matter to them. It's how they earn their living now. But in general, I would sell rocks. I wouldn't sell fossils just because... Not really sure what the demarcation line is there. It's hard to it's hard to it's hard to describe. Like rocks, there's a lot of those around. Like seriously, there's rocks everywhere. Fossils, on the other hand, are typically very limited in variety. Hey, odd yet even. What a prime stream. You got me. Thank you for your donation, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it very, very much. But still, I remember my paleontology teacher going on a rant about that one day where people who sell fossils are horrible human beings and blah 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 blah. Like hope they get cursed or something like that. I don't know. He was pretty upset about it. I've never bought or sold a fossil, but, eh, whatever. I know where to find a bunch of fossils. I probably wouldn't tell people in general just because the fossil beds are limited and you don't want people traipsing around fucking it up because people don't know how to, like, properly extract them and then they'll just go through with, like, pickaxes fucking everything up. But, I don't know, it's a weird line that you draw. It's a weird line. Syndicate's a cool game. I played Syndicate when I was a kid. We're going to enable all these guys to follow because we're going to go out hunting for a little bit, I think. And then once I got a bunch of meat, we might try to get a Spino today, maybe? I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about the Spino, though, so we may give it a go. I've got no drop frames on my end, so if it's lagging, you may need to adjust the... I don't know. My preview always looks weird, though, so I never know what to say about the whole thing. Like, it's playing fine on my screen. The bitrate is perfectly fine for 60 frames. I don't know. Twitch is weird like that. Twitch is very, very weird like that. Oh, Syndicate, the YouTuber? Yeah, I've heard of him, too. Uh, not gonna talk about it, liquefied autism. Not gonna talk about it. Last time I did, I got myself in trouble. So, in general, no religion or politics in the chat. And the few times that I've broken the rule, I've regretted it. So, I'm gonna try and stay away from it today. The Spino isn't better than the T-Rex. The T-Rex is a better fighter, but the Spino is better all around. And so if you're looking for something to ride and, like, hang out with, the Spino tends to be better. Whereas if you're looking for something to flat, just kill stuff, the T-Rex is better. Ah, uh, yeah, 14 is still subscription-based. I was thinking about picking it up and playing it again. I think they'll jump off the cliff with me. If everybody else jumped off a cliff, would you do it with them? Hell yeah, you would. Get the fuck off that cliff. There you go. There you go. If everybody else jumped off a cliff, hell yeah, I would. Because obviously there's a reason they're doing it. Like, why would anybody just throw themselves off a cliff unless there was a good reason to be doing so? That's when you turn around and you see the Indominus Rex coming. You'd be like, oh, I wish I'd throw myself off a cliff. Thanks, Mom. Thanks. Let's see if I can get this big prick after me. Oh, you're upset now, huh? Yep, you big finned bastard. Gentlemen, I don't know if you want to, like, get on him or anything, but I would highly recommend it. Bucked up! You got rolled, Spinosaurus. You got rolled. How do you feel right now? You just got took out by a random dude wearing pieces of another animal with a bow. How do you feel right now? Fucked up. Oh, yeah, you're in love, Harry Papper? Do you get prime meat off these? It doesn't look... Oh, I should have looted him first. Ass. All right, so I fucked that up. It's okay. Ooh! Spoon shortage! I assume you don't eat very much soup now. 
Because you do not have no spoons. Ooh, I didn't warm up today. This is fucked up. But anyways, now, welcome to the NC. Yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. I haven't warmed up today. That's bad. Normally, I sing all day. Today, I've actually been remarkably quiet. Oh my god, we got a goblin. We got a goblin invasion in our Terraria playthrough. It was fucked. It was crazy. There may have been some salt involved. I was like, holy shit, this is a lot of goddamn goblins. Like, seriously. There are a lot of goblins trying to kill me right now. WTF, mate. I may have to drop a deuce. Okay, so... Why aren't there any dinos around? Maybe I turned down the dino spawn frequency. I may have fucked up. So there's a bunch of stuff over there we can kill. Let's go do that. Let's go kill these guys. I'm gonna clear out this beach and see how much meat we can get. Final Fantasy XIV I'd like to play, but anymore, I don't know if I have the time to play it. And I know that it would, like, I have an addiction problem with MMOs, like seriously. I play stupid. When I play an MMO, I go like all in. And so I'm actually scared of playing MMOs nowadays just because, like, I know my mentality and I know how much I'll play it. And I can't, like, settle for not doing stuff in-game. Like, I have to be, like, a hardcore raider. I have to do this. I have to do this. Otherwise, I feel like I'm wasting my time. And so that's one of the reasons I tend to avoid them right now and just not get involved. Fiomia! That's right. Run back towards me and my retinue of things that want to kill you. There we go. Are you guys going to get on him? There you go. Get on him. Take care of him. So it's a level 4 Fiomia down. Get my Ura back. When don't got my Ura. That's a nada but don't got the Ura. Wow, we can drag that thing? That seems really unlikely. That's a big ass animal. She must be muscular. Okay, well, let's just harvest his ass. And his face. And his back. And his butt. And everywhere else. Yeah, desert roses. You can get those out there. They can actually, uh, Magano, you can get those. You can get the, it kind of depends where you're at, but you can get them right here in California, too. Worth quite a bit of money. I know a guy that goes out and picks up 30, 40 of them a day. Sells them for like 20, 30 bucks a pop when he goes to rock shows. Makes a little bit of money off of them. We got that rock show. We got, can I repair you right now? I would like to repair you right now. I don't have any wood, though. No, my date is ruined. Just can't get wood. I don't think I got enough from there either. I'm going to chop down another tree. You there! You shall die for my wooden advance. Ooh, two trees inside of each other. Treeception. That sounds good. No! It's not Terraria. Stop pressing escape. There we go. Repair my boo. Yeah, I know. I usually just shoot it to the ground because I'm bad at video games. I'm going to shoot this guy in the face. Ugh. Got that Parasaur. Get him taken care of. Get that Stego. Yeah, get that guy too. Take him out. Get him! Get him, Dougie! Get him! My Carno is getting it done right there. He's taking care of business. Carno is what's up. I don't know. My Carno does more damage than anything else that I have. He does a ridiculous amount of damage. Ah, a bunch of hides. That was a crap harvest. That was a bad one. That was a shit harvest. Nah, I never heard of Elemental Crown. How big is he? Like, in general, it's kind of weird because YouTube, there's so many YouTubers that it's hard to keep track of all of them. Like, seriously. Like, even working on YouTube, like, I know a lot of YouTubers, or at least I've heard their names around. And still, like, every day it seems like there's some new, like, 100,000 subscriber channel popping up. Bad day to be you. Good day to be me. Let me eat your face. Uh, yeah. Give me that meat. All your meats is mine. I put them in my belly. All your meats is. I... Did I kill something over here? I did. I killed a Fiomia. There it is. That's that good shit. See, that Fiomia gave me a better harvest than the Stegosaurus did. That was weird. Boom. Headshot. Aw, oh, man. You hit me with your tail, bro. You hit me with your tail. Why? Why do you hit me with your tail so ugly? He's like, hey, I have a beautiful tail. Fuck you. I like, know you don't. Your tail is hideous. Your tail is hideous and you know it. It's hideous. It's hideous. Wait, there was a subscriber? Why wasn't there a... Mm, that was weird. He must have clicked a different... Did you click the subscribe button? Because if you click the button that's down underneath, you don't get the notification. But if you click the thing that says subscribe with, like, the thing, you get a song. It was Paladir? Okay. Paladir! 
Welcome to the Night Castle. Will you get me some ice cream, dear? And drive it to my house. Because I like ice cream, but not exertion. I like ice cream, but not insertion. Into my mouth. Oh, I mean, anyways, welcome. Oh, there was a note. Was there a notification? Oh, well, I didn't hear it. That was weird. Huh. It seems like a bunch of people missed it, though. Hey, you. Stegosaurus. Fuck you. And your mother. And your mother. Oh, man. Are you guys gonna fight with him, or are you just gonna, like, let him beat the shit out of my raptor? Yeah, don't let Crash die. Crash is my friend, and I want him to live as long as possible. That would be great. I think I'm gonna start demanding thing of my, like, things of my subscribers. They're like, nah, send me ice cream. Ben and Jerry's, preferably. Ben and Jerry's, half-baked with the core. Mmm. Delicious core. I actually, I have a Cherry Garcia problem. Cherry Garcia is a thing that I'd, like, sell out family members for Cherry Garcia. I'd be like, give me that right now. Give me that thing. I don't think the mobile base aspect is true. I think that that might be like a proposed plan that might happen someday. But I don't think it's going to happen like now. I don't know. I haven't played around with the Bronto because I don't have enough levels to actually do what I want to do with it. So unfortunately, it just don't work that way. But let me see for a second. I think that... The stream looks weirdly laggy right now, I don't know. I could stop the stream and fix it, I think. I don't know if it would actually fix it. It might fix it, it might not, I don't know. Sometimes it's weird like that. Still, I wanted to kill some more like big things that make me feel manly when I murder them. Let's go murder some more stuff because we can and also fill up my water bottle from this sketchy ass water. Wait, how come that's not working? Fill up my water bottles. Aw, you suck. You're the worst. Are you guys still with me right now? Are you still with me? All of my kitties, also a raptor. Ooh, gash nasty. Give you a gash so nasty. Your mama be like, damn, that gash is nasty. There we go. Now we fill up the water bottles. You got to kind of like be on the edge of the stream. I don't know. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it don't. Yeah, there's a P.O. box. I don't know it exactly, but it should be listed on all of my videos, I think, down below if you wanted to send me some stuff. P.O. box is pretty good. You just send it to Napa. It's like, you can just mail it, seriously, you can mail it to, like, me at Napa, California, or whatever, like, Napa Post Office or something like that, and they should hold it anyways. I don't know, they told me a bunch of this shit when I was signing up for the Post Office box, but for whatever reason, I wasn't paying attention, so... I don't pay attention much, it's a thing that I just don't do. Like, I'm bored, like, 95% of the time. I figure it's some mixture of adult-onset ADD and just, like, everything in life boring me. But, like, 90% of conversations that I have with people in real life, I'm just like, hmm... Like, if I want to pay attention to the conversation, I have to physically, like, force myself to pay attention to the conversation. And most of the time, that's just too much effort for me, and I'm just like, fuck it. My favorite dinosaur, I really like Ankylosaurus. And then my second favorite is Stegosaurus. And then my third favorite is probably Compsognathus, or whatever the hell. Compies. I like Compies. They're pretty cool. I'm gonna shoot that dinosaur. Yeah, that's right, dino fuck. Oh, I missed. Damn it. Yeah, gotcha. Nailed him. I'm not even gonna go harvest that because I just feel like running around like an 1800s British guy in random African countries shooting stuff because I can. Ugh. Or like some random guy on a railroad train in America in the 1800s just shooting buffalo. Not even harvesting the bodies because, eh, don't have to. We don't know that it's bad for the environment yet. Meh. How liberating must that have been to live during a time period where you didn't have to care? Like, you could literally just roll through nature just machine gunning animals for fun. And everybody was just like, yeah, that's super awesome. And they, like, cheered you on. And nobody knew that you were doing something bad. Ugh, that must have been weirdly liberating. To just be able to do whatever you want. No morality whatsoever when it comes to things. Uh, CPU. Like a 4.2 gigahertz. Like, a, I don't know. It's pretty fast. I don't remember the exact model. Don't remember the exact model. Uh, I'm probably not going to make a scope. I don't know. The iron sights seem to work pretty well. Also, I already have a crosshair, so meh. You know. I think my girlfriend just dropped something off for me. I asked her to pick something up on the way home for me. <laughs> it was tampons. Nope, just joking. It wasn't tampons. Let's grab... Ooh! Thank you, baby. Expectations exceeded. You get an A-plus for the day. Ugh. <laughs> What? You got Cheetos, too? Well, there's already a bag of Cheetos. Okay. Uh, I got 20 gigs of RAM, I think. 
Hmm. Great nah, Kitten's not coming in here right now. He's been a little shit all day. He's been getting on my nerves. I had to give him a spanking earlier. I had to I had to punish him for his transgressions. He's been acting a fool today. And I don't know why either. Like just today, he's just been like gnarly today. He's just been a pain in my ass. Like he's broken like three things today. He's just been all over the place. I'm just like, ah, kitten! I'm gonna choke you. Yeah, Orc Boys, I feel like it keeps her on her toes. She gives me a rating too, but I'm actually I, I have the same problem that I had in high school where I'm just like, eh, C minus works for me. I feel no need. Ooh, slide scroll. Thank you for your donation. I appreciate it. And see, your donation was divisible by five. And so, see, you done good, my friend. You done good. None of those nasty prime donations like some people send over. Nah, it's all good. I actually, I just like divisible numbers. Prime numbers bother me for some reason. I don't know. I. Oh, I love him. He's just on my shit list today. I figured, let's go hunt over here for a little while. Going to hunt some dinosaurs, gonna give them dinosaurs. All up on their heads from bullets shot from my gun now. Bang! <laughs> oh no. Dinosaurs, you want... Ah! Ow, my ass! Three horns is the worst horn when they're inserted in my anus. No. Wait, dodos are being removed in the future? Why? Why are the dodos, why are, are you serious right now? Or are you just trolling? Don't mess with me, that's weird. <laughs> I didn't expect that to work. That was way too simple. Give me your meat. I eats it off your bones. Should probably murder this Fiomia too while I'm over here. I kind of want to train that Carnotaur so that I can have more than one. But they'll both be white. I want diversity in my Carnotaur troop. Like, I want, like, a white one, and, like, a brown one, and, like, a purple one, and, like, a red one. Mm, is Eden Star that survival? I think I bought it the other day. Is Eden Star that space survival game? I think I bought it the other day with the plans for it to replace. If that's the game you're talking about, I think it's, I bought it so I could replace Ark with it once I get bored with Ark. So that I try to always have a survival game on the channel because people don't watch otherwise. And so, meh, I like survival games anyways, so it's like no skin off my back. But is Eden Star that one? If it's the game that I'm thinking of, god, there are Fiomias everywhere right now. Yeah, Fiomia, get dealt with, get dealt with, point blanked, 360. Ah, oh no, blocked by a tree. Oh well, Raptor took care of it, nice job, nice job, Raptor, hold it down. Yeah, I think I bought that one the other day. I saw it and I was like, how did I not know that this had released? Hey, there's a T-Rex up there. Hmm. Hmm. Do I want a T-Rex today? It'll take a long ass time and I don't want to cheese mode it with the super test meat. There's been, su there's been too much super test meat lately. I feel like a cheater. And so, do I still have my narcotics? No, I put them in my box. Damn it. Okay, so apparently I put it inside my... Uh, yeah, Brutal Doom is an off-series, though, so I just kind of upload it whenever I have space for it. And so lately, we've been so busy that it's not there. I still have a couple more episodes, and then I've been practicing the rest of the game, but it just hasn't been getting uploaded because it's not like a real series. It's just kind of like one of those things that I upload it every now and again because I like Doom. I swear to God, Rockstar Fruit Punch is the greatest thing ever invented by man. Mmm. With my luck, it'll probably be made by Nestle, so I gotta feel guilty every time I drink it. Where are the rest of my dinos? Yeah, you guys wanna take care of business over here? Wait, there's a fire-breathing dragon? I thought that was, like, gonna be released, but is it in the game now? So I'm gonna keep your melee damage going upwards, because he's already being, like, a home wrecker and killing everything that gets in my way. God, why do you have so much crap on you? Just, here, get rid of all of this. It's because he's always looting T-Rexes. That's what it comes down to. Got a bunch of spears in here. Get rid of those. I got like five extra bows. What do I need five extra bows for? I could just throw away my stuff. I could just like litter whenever I wanted to and not have to worry about it. Crazy. Am I hot right now? So hot right now. So hot right now. Where did that T-Rex go? I'm going to hit him with my pickaxe in the face because he's a punk ass. Get dominated, T-Rex. Oh, he's way in there. That's too far. I can't walk that far to fight a T-Rex. Way too much effort. Hey, 
Hey, what's up, Lieutenant Dangle? Welcome to the stream, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Are you seriously gonna spit at me right now? I bite my thumb at these, sir. What a dumbass Dilophosaur. I'm gonna be a huge dumbass to do that thing. Rubber, can you train the dragon without cheating? Because I know with the Broodmother, you can't train her without cheating. But can you get the dragon? Because that'd be bad. Is that a piranha over there? God damn it. Fucking piranhas. I hate them. I hate them so much. Ugh. And that didn't even work. Damn it. You guys want to defend me from the hundreds of piranhas that are now consuming my flesh? I would love it if you would kill some piranhas. Ugh. And then I shot a turtle in the face, too. How come my gun doesn't work underwater? What kind of craptastic rifle can't be fired underwater? There's always that gun guy in the audience like, um, all of them? Fucking piranhas. I hate those things. They're like one of the buggiest things in the game because your dinosaurs never fight them. They just sit there and get chewed on. I have lost so many pets to piranhas. Easily one of the deadiest, like, deadliest things in the game. Piranhas kill you all the time. Oh, you can't train? Okay, so you can't... That sucks, because I want a dragon. I want a Rathalos that's all mine. He'll be like... Mwah! And then when adventurers try and come along and tail him, I'll shoot him in the face. And I'll be like, fuck you, it's my dragon. Be easy. And they'll be like, no! You're ruining my online gameplay experience. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna go tell the mods on you. Alright, so let's get a little bit more meat off of y'all. One thing I noticed, all of the saber-toothed tigers have balls in the back. Like, if you look at them, they all have balls. Like, for some reason. I don't know why. Even the females have balls in the back, and they seem to have some kind of weird, like, tri thing going on. They have three balls. That apparently is why they're so fertile and why there's so many cats around here. I don't know. I would like to have more saber cats. Probably one of the better pets in the game. They're really, really strong because their attack power is better than a raptor's. And honestly, the raptors do stunlock things, but once you start fighting bigger stuff, you want, like, straight DPS. Gotta be getting them DPs taken. Like, I'm at 100 hours right now. I'm not at 300 yet. I'm at 100, but I haven't really... There was a donation? Damn. I missed it? Why is that not coming through? I actually 100% didn't hear that one. Hey, what's up, Edge? Welcome to the stream. I totally did not... I didn't hear it. I didn't see it. I didn't nothing. That was weird. Did it pop up with a notification? Because I set up Twitch alerts right before this. Urgh! I check it every day before I start streaming now because sometimes it stops working. I must have missed it. Well then. I think... There's so many things to hunt over here. Like, I could murder further. I could definitely murder further. But I think we should probably head back to base. Maybe... Where am I? Oh my god, I'm so far north right now. So which way am I? I think I'm walking the wrong way right now. I've got to be walking the wrong way. I think this will take me to the left. I want to move too much, though. Am I going left right now? Oh, never mind. I'm looking at the wrong thing. I was looking at the beta bug. Okay, so this is our island right here. We just got to cut back across it. I like my flyers, but I don't have any. Oh man. Who donated it? What was the name? Oh, the battle music was too loud. That explains it then. Who was the who did the prime donation? Whose donation was prime? I need to chastise them and also say thank you because I feel like people giving me money is sort of ludicrous. I do appreciate it though. It is pretty awesome of you to do. I mean I appreciate the tips. There's always that guy when you're like, well donations like I had to explain to my friend's dad the other day. Like, my friend's dad is very much like a working class guy. Like, he's worked in, like, a factory his entire life doing, like, ass-breaking labor just like my dad does. I live in a working class area where everybody works in, like, factories and, like, manual labor and stuff. And so I frequently am embarrassed describing what I do for a living. But anyways, this happens all the time. But I consider that the punishment, though. Like, I don't have to apologize for the way I make my living because the punishment is all of my peers being like, oh, so you don't have, like, a real job. And I'm like, eh, well, it kind of depends what you think a real job is. But sure, yeah, it's not roofing. Roberto! Thank you for donating. I appreciate it. And thank you for shouting out Roberto. I appreciate you shouting it out as much as I appreciate the donation. Roberto, thank you for donating. It's a very nice thing to do. Helps me keep the lights on. And actually, I tend to use my PayPal account to pay all my bills. And so I usually don't even deduct money from the PayPal account. Like, it just goes from there straight to, like, paying my, like, housing bills. Like, seriously, if you wanted to donate... Yeah, somebody dropped $1,500. Somebody donated 1000 one time here for a laptop so that I could render better. That was when I first started streaming. 
That was back when I only had like 14 viewers. Somebody donated a thousand. It was very, very nice of them. Hakiki was the name of the individuals I recall. Although he got Hakiki doesn't come around anymore. I don't think he likes my content anymore. I don't know. I tried to talk to him about it, but nah, you know, sometimes can't get a hold of people or whatever. But still, we did get a big donation from Hakiki one time. He used to he used to be one. I think it was just kind of like one of those things where the stream got popular and some people don't like popular streams and some people like the feeling of only having like 10 or 15 viewers and you know, my stream grows. My stream has gotten quite large over the years. Captain Skirts donated. Oh, okay. Captain Skirts, thank you. I thought Roberto donated. See, people are messing with me now and I lost my cats at the same time. Makes us Oh, no, I didn't. He's right there. Okay, well never mind then. Uh, my raptor's all overweighed. Well then, Captain Skirts, thank you for your donation. I am lost as shit right now. I'm on my... I think if we just go this way, we'll be okay. God, if you donated $400,000, Twitch Alerts takes like 1% of everything that's donated. And so when people donate large amounts, Twitch Alerts makes money. Twitch Alerts would make hella money. Ooh! Grande has subscribed. Thank you! For subscribing, Grande, you are a hottie, even though I've never seen you, welcome to the NC, we keep it funky, but now we're more funky, because you is with us now, you can play the drums. I give everybody an instrument, y'all get an instrument, I don't know, I gotta assign, somebody has to do like the zither though. I don't know who wants to do the zither, but somebody's got to figure it out. But yeah, you get like this weird backlash. Like a lot of my old viewers, when I had like 20 viewers back in the day, like I had very, very few viewers when I first started out on Twitch. Like that's just the way it goes. Like sometimes, you know, when you start out on Twitch, it's a lot different than starting out on YouTube. It takes a while to gain traction. Like right now, like even on my worst streams, I have like 70 or 80 people here, which is still quite a lot compared to just about everybody else. Like it's weird. Somebody gets the st ooh steel drum's pretty cool. But like, bing 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 bing. I uh, the steel drum is one of those instruments that would just be like a blast to play. Like I don't know what it is about the steel drum, but that's a fun ass instrument. You're like bing 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 bing. It's so festive. You just want to go like swimming in an ocean every time you hear it. You're like ah, I want to be in the ocean right now, and I go I pee. I I admit it. Every time I'm in a body of water, I pee in it. Anybody that won't admit to that is a dirty filthy liar. Yeah, that's what I mean, Cobra Striker, is like, the line that you have, the glasses I don't think work unless you use them on a saddle first. Like, I'm pretty sure they don't work unless you use them on the saddle, and then once you use them on the saddle, you can put glasses on them, I think. Like, you gotta take that off of there, and then... Like, it won't work, maybe it has to go in here first, and then to there, no, it won't work on him. I think it's also specific dinosaurs that it works on. Like, I know the T-Rex, They, ha I think they have to have an eye slot anyways. So you have to be able to, like, for example, the T-Rex can do it because he's already got, like, the glasses slot or whatever. But yeah, we'll work on the Raptors. Put his saddle back on because it gives him armor. With these little guys. I don't think it'll work on them either. But you gotta, but yeah. That's what I mean. I was talking to somebody. Cobra, that's who it was. But anyways, Gash Nasty is level 50, I think, is when I can ride him. I'm at 39 right now. I wanted to farm up some levels in this episode, so I may try to do that for a little while. But, as I was saying, like, the difference, like, it's... When you're on YouTube, there's definitely haves and have-nots. But on Twitch, it's so much different. Like, with the way Twitch does, Twitch only promotes streams that are large already. Whereas on YouTube, you can accidentally land number one in the search if you're a small channel. That's how I got started, is I accidentally landed number one on the search one time and I got a bunch of subscribers from it like a hundred subscribers and I was like holy shit I can reproduce this process by you know deconstructing the statistics that I got out of that situation and that's what I've been doing ever since you just reproduce the process over and over and over again until you get the results you want twitch is a very different beast because twitch only produce like they only promote large streams and so like if you can have 25 viewers technically you're in the top 1% of twitch because it's very difficult to get started on twitch because your discoverability is almost zero when you first start out like it's below zero. It's really, really hard to start a Twitch stream without somebody promoting you first. Like, I don't even know how I would have started a Twitch stream if I wasn't already popular on YouTube because Twitch is just entirely hard to get started on. 
Like, I really sincerely, my heart goes out to anybody that's trying to start out on Twitch without being popular elsewhere. Like, or without getting lucky. I mean, sometimes you get lucky on Twitch and somebody logs off when you're, like, the next person on the list or whatever. But Twitch is much more susceptible to, like, good luck, bad luck than any other service that I'm on right now. But, like, if you can get more than 10 viewers on Twitch, you're in the top 1%. I mean, that's how that's how vast the gap, the chasm is between, like, the haves and have-nots. You know, I prefer performing or at least, like, being on Twitch because it's easier. Like, it's just you turn on a camera and you go and then you just hang out here for a little while. And I find that it's just a lot lower maintenance than YouTube. Like, YouTube, I've got to render, I've got to edit. There's things that I physically have to do for YouTube in order for it to work. You know what I mean? Whereas with Twitch streaming, you just kind of like log on and you go, and if you're good at talking and kind of just like bullshitting and stuff like that, then you'll be perfectly fine. Like, that's like 90% of the skill set that you need for Twitch streaming. YouTube is, a, I think YouTube is, if you're good at editing and things like that, I think YouTube, the payoffs are better for you. But for me, I hate editing. It's not that I don't know how to do it, I just don't enjoy it, and so I don't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna force myself to not enjoy my job. And plus, I like unedited LPs, so that's what I watched before I started YouTubing, and so that tends to be what I produce. And so anyways, like, what was I talking about? I think I would prefer to be a full-time Twitch streamer because it fits my skill set better. Having worked in radio and stuff like that, like, I just know how to monologue, and I know how to bullshit, and I know how to, like, keep people entertained over short terms. I do have kind of, like, a weird bipolar thing going on sometimes where some days I just wake up and I'm not in the mood, but I think that's pretty much everybody... But anyways, I think I would prefer to Twitch stream full-time if I ever had the opportunity to do so, just because it fits my skill set better versus, you know, YouTube, which I think benefits somebody that's better at planning and storyboarding and assembling kind of like storylines and things like that, which as you see, like channels like Dragast, for example, or PewDiePie or Markiplier, the things they upload are very, very carefully put together. Like, there's a lot of contemplation and editing that goes in there. Like, they work very, very hard on that. But because of that, they can't produce the amount of content that I do. Like, because they have to spend a huge amount of time working on each episode because it's so carefully tailored to be entertaining all the way through. And plus, their videos are like two or three minutes long or whatever. I think my skill set in just being able to, like, broadcast and talk to people and just bullshit is much better for, like, podcasts and Twitch streaming. So, I don't know. I mean, I would love to Twitch stream someday and have a thousand viewers at any given time and just be able to Twitch stream eight hours a day. And that would be my daily job. But, meh, if it doesn't happen, like, I'm good enough on YouTube right now to last for a while. So, that was ultimately my goal because I think there's an expiration date on my YouTube career. And, like, what I do on YouTube, I think it's going to fall through eventually and I'm not going to be able to do it anymore. And Twitch streaming seems like it's here for the long run. Like, I don't see that going anywhere. And so, anyways, I don't see Twitch streaming. Twitch streaming is kind of the future, whereas YouTube, in my mind, is kind of the past. I think YouTube is kind of waning right now, and I think everything's moving over to live streaming. And so that's one of the reasons why I started a stream is because I'm one of those people that likes to be proactive. I would rather, if I'm not going to be able to do YouTube anymore, I'd like to be able to move seamlessly over to Twitch and just do that for a living right after. And where I am right now on Twitch, I think I could technically make it if I did it full time. It would be close, but I think I could squeeze by with my bills based on the amount of money that I make off Twitch right now. But I'd like to have it prepared just in case something goes wrong so that I can swap in between one and the other and I could still work in gaming and, you know, still be able to spend time with all of you. I would like, I wish that I could ride Mash Nasty right now. I feel bad that I can't ride him. I don't know what I should do with his stats. Like, I have no clue what I should do with the stats on a Brontosaurus. Like, maybe movement speed or something, make him go a little bit faster. But yeah, I think I, I think I would love to do Twitch streaming as, like, a career. That would be really, really cool and awesome. I, I could see myself really enjoying that, but we're not there yet. We're not there yet. And honestly, I wouldn't give up YouTube, like, voluntarily. It would just be kind of like, all right, my career here is over. Let's go do something else now. You know, it's not like I'm going to be quitting YouTube for Twitch. It would be if something caused YouTube to no longer be viable. Like, I got Lash Nasty Kill. I killed the Dodo, and I didn't even realize it. Sorry, bro. Collateral damage. My bad. I didn't even mean to kill you. That was an accident. All right, so we got so much spoiled meat right now that I need to farm up some narco berries so that we can get ourselves, like, nice and leveled up here. We don't have to be nice and leveled up. I guess we could be mean and leveled up. doesn't really matter to me, but... Uh, basically, you just got to learn to talk to yourself to answer your question, Dragon of Flame. I, I used to answer this question. I used to do... I used to be on a Let's Play-related forum that I would give advice to people and stuff like that. 
I stopped going there because I found that over time people became more sort of just like jaded like and really sort of like blamed me and were just kind of like mean to me over the fact that my channel was bigger than theirs and that like I was able to do this for a living they couldn't and so I stopped posting there for that reason I kind of felt like people were just kind of being dickish every time I showed up and kind of blaming me for being successful and so anyways kind of projecting I guess their insecurities on me but anyways what I used to tell people back in the day is that the best way to get used to like talking and broadcasting is just to talk to yourself when you're at home like talk to yourself seriously that's how I learned to do it I would just talk to myself that's a trick that they told me when I was training for radio and whatnot I was taking radio broadcasting classes in high school I went to a weird high school that had a lot of multimedia stuff and I was really really into radio broadcasting and so that was what my teacher told me he was in speech making and he was in speech writing and kind of broadcasting and he was one of the guys that helped make Sesame Street actually and he was one of the guys that built Sesame Street up from nothing back in the day, back in the 70s. That was kind of his claim to fame. And that was one of the pieces of advice he gave me, is that you need to learn to talk to yourself. If you're embarrassed to talk to yourself, you're definitely going to be embarrassed to talk to other people. And so you just got to get used to it. And so what I would do is when I would drive to work in the morning, even though I wasn't working in radio or anything like that, I would just talk to myself about any topic, like I would talk to myself about why I like Wendy's better than McDonald's while I was driving down the street. Or I would talk to myself about why I like this Chevy car better than this other car. Like, just make up a topic in your head and just go with it. And you go, you just go with it. And eventually you just get so good over it. And I'm sorry, eventually you just get good at it. And there you go. And so basically this right here, me talking to you, is the exact same way that I would talk to myself. And it just doesn't seem weird to me because I've practiced it so much that it's just like, meh. You know, it's just like second nature after a while. But I've been doing this for years and years and years. And so what I would tell people to be careful about is that, like, I've talked to a couple people who seem really, really discouraged about YouTube and broadcasting. They say they can't think of things to talk about. And I'd be like, well, dude, I still get that. Like, some days I wake up, and I bet you can see it in my episodes sometimes where I'm just bullshitting. Like, I have no idea what I should be talking about right now. I can press O? Really? I never knew about that. Thank you. That's a good tip. That's a good-ass tip right there. Holy shit, that's amazing. Saving myself time. Hell yeah, you're my hero of the stream right now. Hero of the stream! I just dropped some of my narco berries, though. That's very unfortunate. I kind of need those. Hmm. Alright, well, anyways. But yeah, I mean, feel free to ask me questions, as long as they're not too... Like, what? the questions I don't really like asking, are like, have you heard of this game? Or, like, are you going to play this game? Or do you like this YouTuber? Stuff like that. Because those are questions that are like... The ones about other YouTubers you gotta be careful about too because a lot of people have like giant egos and they get really offended about like the smallest things you say about them and I'd be like, well, I don't like your content, but that doesn't mean I don't like you as a person, you know? Like I've had people be like, oh, you said you didn't like my content. I'm like, yeah, but it doesn't mean I don't like you, like, eh. Like I don't like my friend's artwork and I can be honest about that with him. Like I'd be like, it's not my style, like I don't like it, but then he'll be like, you know, you get over it. I mean... Just because I don't like something you produce doesn't mean I don't like you. I mean, we can still be friends. I mean, I don't feel bad if you say you don't like my content. I'm like, well, it's not for everybody. Some people find me to be super annoying. All right, all right, Blood Rage. I'll see you later. Bathe those kids. Scrub them extra deep. Kids get dirt everywhere. When I was a little kid, I would get so dirty. I would get dirty as hell. I also got kicked out of school all the time, but that's beside the point. I... Am I waiting for Marvel Part 3? Wait, what is Marvel? Yeah, I shaved my head. I got tired of the heat. Like, I noticed when I went for a run today, like, there was a huge difference in terms of, like, me get feeling hot and just being, like, screwed. Um, surreal, it would be the exact same advice that I would give you. Learn to talk slowly and precisely. So, talk to yourself, like I said, and just consciously make sure that you're not saying ums and ahs along the way. And so the way that I learned to do that is by speaking very, very slowly and over time speaking faster and faster and faster until I no longer had to worry about ums and ahs. A lot of that has to do with the way your brain paths, like neural paths. Like people, developing your speech skills is very much sort of like a physiological thing. Your brain has to connect neurons and develop the part of your brain. Like it's like any other muscle. Like you work on your bicep, you've got to work on the part of your brain that controls your speech skills. And so... The ums and ahs are kind of like that junction when you can't make the connection you want to make and you're kind of struggling about what you want to say next. As you get better and better at talking to yourself, you should be able to avoid saying those words. And on days where I feel like I'm tempted to say ums and ahs and things like that, you'll find that I talk much more slowly than I normally do because I'm trying to avoid doing that. And so just slowing down your speech tends to be the best way to avoid ums and ahs. It's kind of a developed skill, though, allowing your, your brain to think about what you're going to say while you're actively talking about the thing that you're completing saying. 
This takes a little bit of time to get used to. Let me grab these narco berries out of here. Now that I got all of you, we're going to bring these on back. I don't know if the delay got smaller. I'm, I'm looking at my preview right now. It's weird. I don't know. Twitch. It's Twitch. I don't know. I could make parody songs. I got to reset up my recording studio, though. I don't have, like, any of my recording stuff set up right now. I needed this over here. That's what I need. Oh, look. We have more narcotics. Okay. Well, apparently I'm producing narcotics, like, out the ass right now. So we'll put all these in here. We got so much meat, too. We got, like, a lot of meat right now. If we were going to go after a spino... I think now would be the time. Let me get the charcoal up out of here because it's using up. Why is metal in here? I don't even know why I have metal in here. There we go. That should be more than enough to get us started on a whole bunch more drugs to level up a little bit further. Craft 85 drugs. They added a craft all button, which I really appreciate. So there's a little bit more. That'll get us like halfway to our next level, I guess. I'm going to be here for another hour or so. Another hour and ten minutes. I'll be here till 7 o'clock Pacific time. I like the old school paladins. I very much, I actually like clerics. Like old school clerics. I like clerics from old school D&D &D where they were like in plate mail. They had like the mace and the shield and they were just like tanks with the divine. I love that concept of like a cleric. That's like my favorite thing ever. And so let me craft a few more of those right there. This is the best way to power level by the way. You just farm out a bunch of meat and then you let it all go rotten. And then you just use a ton of narco berries to make a bunch of narcotics. It's the easiest way I've found to level up without stressing yourself out. So... That's how I recommend power leveling in this game. I'm going to throw the metal in here. Actually, I probably shouldn't do that. I should probably put the metal over in here. And I haven't even moved everything over yet. we got charcoal in there. Shit, we got all kinds of stuff going on. Okay. So, combine those charcoal stacks. Take the metal. I need to repair my tools before we go any further. But I would like to get a Spino today, maybe. I don't know. We'll see what we can do here. We'll see what we can accomplish. Gold pig, it's hard to say because vocal timber and like the tone of your voice is going to help out a lot. And I think that younger YouTubers, regardless of how good they are, like I've seen some young YouTubers who are stupid good. Like I've seen two or three YouTubers that they're like 15 or 16 and they hold it down. Like they've got legitimate radio skills. Like they're good at doing it. And yet people still just kind of like write them off because they have a high pitched voice or because they haven't been able to like drop yet. Or. Some people just don't have deeper voices, and i found that there's a strong bias against people who have, like, higher-pitched voices or whatever. I don't know. It's a weird thing. Like, I'm thankful for my vocal tone. Like, I feel like I lucked out in the sense that I have kind of a radio voice, and that's totally, like, a genetic lottery. Like, you're just lucky you got it or you're unlucky. Still, you can learn a radio tone to a certain extent. It's more about talking from your diaphragm down here than talking from out of your throat. And that's more of an English speaker problem too. I've heard that Americans, we tend to talk out of the back of our throats rather than talking from our chest like some other languages do. And so I think it's a thing we have to deconstruct. Like I consciously talk out of my chest now, but if you catch me on a day where I'm kind of feeling lazy, I definitely talk out of the back of my throat. And you've got to make the decision to do it differently. And that's kind of a broadcasting trick too. So anyways, lots of weird stuff. I'll put the trike saddle up in here. What do I have by the way? I have an irrigation pipe, okay. Hmm. An irrigation pipe, a nosegation pipe, an iogation pipe, whatever you need. I I kinda like the wheel, Blackjack. I know I can press F to do it, but I like the wheel. That one I'm aware of, but I don't know. I like contextual wheels for some reason. I think it's probably Neverwinter Nights fault. That was like the first game that I played that had like a lot of contextual menus, and I think it's that game's fault. Let's make Wait, what was that? Oh, meat. Okay, that threw me off for a second. I was like, what the fuck was that? Made me nervous. I got, I was like, ah, things are happening. Okay, so let me repair you. Let me repair you before I get up out of here. That'll give us some more XP too. I think we should still be making narcotics as far as I know. I'm going to try and make, let me go through, and I'm going to grab some of these narcotics actually, and I'm going to make some more arrows out of them. I need, yeah, take you guys right there. We'll make some trank arrows. Yeah, make 29 of them. That's fine. Make as many trank arrows as we can make. Then I'll throw the remainder back up in here. Well, you use your mouth to talk, but what I mean is like, so for example, if I'm just sitting around, I tend to, when I'm talking to other people, like I'm not on the air or whatever, I tend to talk from in the back of my throat and kind of like my nasal passage versus when I'm Twitch streaming or when I'm doing YouTube, I talk from kind of like down here. And it's a different type of projection. It's a different type of projection, I guess. It's hard to describe, but you'll know it once you know how to do it, I guess. And apparently, it's a problem. Like I've talked to other like British people, but like 
broadcasting from other places, and they said that it's actually a pretty, it's, it's kind of an American problem, I guess. It's the way that we're taught to talk. Like, we don't teach our kids to, like, project and, like, speak with your chest when you say, you know, that type of thing. I don't know. That's just what I've heard, anyways. I've heard people from, like, Britain and Ireland and things like that say that it sounds like we talk out of our noses. Like, we sound like we're a little bit nasal sometimes. But we don't notice it around each other because we all do it. And so, I, I don't know if it's true or not. I don't hear it when other people do it. But once again, that's because that's just how we all talk here. So, I don't know. But either way, you've got to make, like, a conscious effort when you talk. Like, I would do it, like, when I... Like, imagine that you're bartering over something, like you're talking to somebody that's selling you a car, for example. Like, you're in, like, a hostile environment. People tend to project better when they're in that, when they're in that environment because they're trying to be forceful. You know, you're trying, to, you're trying to give yourself a presence in the conversation, I guess. I need to cook up some... Oh, good, it all went bad. We didn't have time to cook one stack. Let's go ahead and I'm going to combine a stack right there because I'd like to get it cooked up. Because we're running out of food for right now. And then we have enough Trank Arrows. I think that it's time... We're going to have to be careful about... Let me go find... When we try to tame ourselves a Spino or something like that, we got to be careful about the way that we do this. And so, yeah, I, Daisy Cannon's got it. You'll learn it in music classes, too. If you do, like, vocal classes, they'll talk about it there as well. They'll talk about if you want to sing opera or whatever, you project from your chest. You don't project from up here because you get better mileage out of, you get better mileage out of your chest than you do everywhere, or out of everywhere else. So anyways, let me jump on Shiggity here. Shiggity, you want to come along with me? Yeah, there we go, Shiggity. Let's go find ourselves something to tame. I guess I could tame that other Brontosaurus over there if I wanted to. I could tame the Brontosaurus by getting up on top of this rock right here, and he couldn't get to me and just, like, shooting at him. I bet I could have ourselves a little shoot nanny down here. I don't play many online games. That's because I have an addiction problem with it, so I tend to stay away from it just out of the worry that it'll ruin my life again. Yeah, Finnegan the Land Shark, back from the days when we were playing Stranded Deep. Stranded Deep is one of those games that it's just not updating anymore. I don't know. Somebody's texting me. That's weird. <laughs> the Lord is our shepherd. Okay. That was like one of those texts where you're just like, hey. <laughs> Anyways, back to it. I My mom always sends me like weird texts that like, she'd be like, you need to go to the DMV. And I'll be like, why do I need to go to the DMV? And she'd be like, because... I don't know if you realized it, but your registration paper came, comes to our house, and it says that it's expired. And I'm like, ah, shit. I didn't change, like, any of my address or anything. The Lord is our shepherd. You'll stand out in the choir, that's for sure. You'll stand out in the choir. Stand out above the choir, even if I gotta sing in fire. I would you sing in fire. That would suck. I'll probably put this one up on YouTube. That seems like it'll work out. This one's been a little bit less filthy than most of my streams, so I'll probably put it up. There you go. Feed yourself, shiggity. I've got enough meat right now. There you go. Feed yourself and poop. Poop to your heart's desire. You guys remember that song from a Goofy movie? What was the name of the guy? It's like Livewire or something like that that he sings. It's supposed to be like Prince or like... It's supposed to be like Prince or Michael Jackson of the Goofy world. He's like super popular. He has like that giant... like He has Tesla coils on stage with him while he's dancing. Like shooting lightning all over the place. I saw a guy that did that one time at the fair. Like, he, he would play a guitar, but he had, like, Tesla coils around that would fire lightning at him and stuff. But he was, like, grounded so that it wouldn't shock him, and so he could shoot lightning out of his guitar. It was pretty awesome. It seemed like it was sort of dangerous, though. Like, one thing would go wrong, and then you, were, you would, like, die. There was, like, no way this was going to work out long term. Like, someday he's going to electrify and kill himself. There's no way. I... Okay, so... Anyways, I played World of Warcraft way too much, and it, like, almost destroyed my life. Like, seriously, I played too much World of Warcraft, and it ruined everything. It ruined my relationships, it ruined my friendships, it ruined, you know, my family life. It ruined, like, I didn't want to do anything but just, like, sit and play World of Warcraft because I hated the real world. Like, I worked a job that I hated. Like, I didn't like doing anything other than World of Warcraft. I gained, like, 130 pounds. I got super husky. Like, I didn't like to do anything. If I went out with friends, the only thing we talked about was World of Warcraft, and, like, we pined. We would have, like, LAN parties where we just played World of Warcraft, and if, like, World of Warcraft wasn't somehow involved... I had problems before World of Warcraft. All right, Je who is that? Corn on the cob. All right, I'll see you later. Your, your name isn't that blue color. My eyes have trouble seeing it. Anyways, I'll see you later, bud. Thanks for coming to the stream. I appreciate it. Oop, let's sit down. There's a raptor over there. Let's sit down on this island, then, somewhere a little bit safer. Not to worry about my shiggity getting murdered right here. So anyways, I had addiction problems with MMOs. Like, I have a real problem, like, power line. That's the name of the day. Stand out above the crowd, even if I gotta shout out loud. But not as the only thing you see. You're gonna stand up, think you know it's me. It's a pretty good song, though. That one was addictive right there. 
for like a random song in a movie that nobody's ever seen. Like somebody put in work when they designed the hook to that song. That's an addictive ass song. But yeah, World of Warcraft was like my only foundation for like being around people. Like if you weren't into World of Warcraft, like I had nothing to talk with you about. And like my life started to come back together once I got off the game and I stopped playing it. Like things stopped being so shitty. How come we haven't seen a Spinosaur yet? I need a Spinosaur like right. Although I don't really want to tame a Spinosaur this far from home either. I probably shouldn't have killed that one that was like right next to my house. Let's go back to base and we'll see what we can get. But yeah. I had I had addiction problems with MMOs before I started playing World of Warcraft. Like I was really into EverQuest too. Where I spent like stupid amounts of time playing EverQuest and just like accomplishing nothing. Just like sitting around in groups grinding monsters all day. Wait, somebody donated? Who donated? Oh, there it is. Paladir. Or Paladire. Oh, you want... Okay, it's Dire as in Dire Wolf. You don't have to donate to tell me that, but that's a pretty good way to get your message through in like the blob of things. Thank you, Paladire. I appreciate it. It's a very nice thing to do. As I say to everybody else who donates, that's the first place I go when I pay my bills. So if you're actively interested in like keeping me employed... Donating on Twitch is the best way to make sure like the money that you're giving me goes straight to bills and not to other things In general, I buy all the games from the channels from my PayPal account that that money goes into and I pay all my bills from it too And so it's a great place to start if you want your money 100% To go towards like keeping me in business and like not getting the lights turned off by Comcast or whoever else is doing it right now PG&E Oh my god Holy shit. Look at that battle right there. That's going on. It's lagging my game out What? That's so. That's a big ass mob of ankylosaurus is fighting like a whole bunch of stegosaurus and a whole bunch of T-Rexes. Damn! Look at all those brontosauruses. Every now and again, the game does that, where it just like spawns a blob of dinosaurs in one spot for no reason. Yeah, I'll probably make a. I will more than likely make a Charlie base at some point. Charlie and Delta. Once we get around, the thing I don't like is that it drops your inventory when you teleport around the map. I think they just need to let that go, and they need to make it so you can just move around the map using your bed with your inventory intact. World of Warcraft is an MMORPG that was very, very popular around 2005, 2006, like stupidly popular. It was one of those things that was almost a cultural phenomenon. Like, it was that popular where, like, everybody you knew played it. Like, if you were, like, 19 to 25 years old in 2006, I would almost... It was a flip of a coin whether somebody played WoW or not. Like, even people that I didn't expect to play WoW, like, super, like, jockish people or, like, you know, gym rat type people. Like, people you wouldn't expect to play a lot of video games, even though that's kind of stereotyping people. Even though it's stereotyping. Just people you wouldn't expect to play World of Warcraft, like, I don't know, 65-year-old retired guys, they'd be playing World of Warcraft 2. It was a phenomenon. Like, everybody played it for a while. Like, it's not very popular anymore. Like, not a lot of people play it anymore. But back in those days, they had, like, 12 million subscribers. Like, everybody played that shit. And so I was one of those people. And I had to be, like, the number one raider. Uh, the shark is stuck in the ground off to the side. I can't fix him until we get the shark saddle, unfortunately. And so I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to fix him until I get the saddle. Once I get the saddle, I'll be able to fix him by no clipping him out of there. But for right now, he's stuck over on this side of the beach. I'll show him to you. I can't get him out, though. I tried for like 25 minutes the other day to get him unstuck, and I just can't seem to get him unstuck. Oh, yeah? You met your husband on WoW? I met a bunch of my friends on World of Warcraft, actually. I met a ton of people on World of Warcraft that I still hang out with to this day. We've all given up World of Warcraft at this point, but... Yeah, I know a bunch of... Why does a Pterodon... He can't even go underwater. Why does he have an oxygen rating? Weird. I should probably increase his weight allotment because I am always overweight for my pterodon. I can never get him around. There's our shark right there. You can see him poking out of the water. I He's stuck right now, though, like super stuck. Like, I fiddled with him for hell long trying to get him out of the water. He does not look like a good pet. Like, I'm sorry. I cannot trust this thing with my livelihood. I don't trust a shark for shit. Mm -mm. Let me see if I can get him unstuck right now. Yeah, I tried going out this way a whole bunch. Like, I tried swimming way out this direction. I tried a whole bunch of things to get him unstuck. And it just don't seem to work. Let me see what I can do here. Uh, I think it was probably, I mean, there's, it would be impossible for us to prove whether or not all dinosaurs died from, for example, like a pandemic. Very, very difficult to prove that or disprove that because bacterial evidence is hard to collect. I tend to subscribe to the Chicxulub theory. And so there's a giant meteor impact in Mexico in a place called Chicxulub. And there's a giant, like a big meteor crater that we've noticed based on gravitational anomalies. And so a lot of people don't know this, but gravity is different depending on where you are on the planet. 
And in Chick Shalhoub, there's a massive difference in the amount of gravity that's exerted. And that's because where the impact mark is from this huge meteor, it's a meteor that I think they said was about the size of... Forget how big they said it was in my paleontology classes, but either way, there's a meteor impact in Mexico in a place called Chick Shalhoub. And when the meteor hits the ground, it compacts, it compacts the material right there, and it becomes very dense, which causes gravity be, to be higher in there. And then there's rings. And so there's a direct impact zone. There's a ring around that of density that's increased, and there's a ring around that of density that's increased. And it's a massive meteor impact. Like, if it happened, it would have wiped out, like, most life on the planet during that period, except for smaller mammalian life and things like that, because they would have been small enough to survive the... There would have been, for example, there would have been an ash cloud that covered the planet for a long ass time, killed all the like killed all the plants except for like smaller, you know, type mossy type things. Would have been the only thing that could have survived the long deprivation from the sun, and smaller animals would have survived it, and that would have been the sort of thing that you would have expected to trigger a shift in between large animals and small animals. It'll wipe out all the big stuff because there simply wasn't enough foliage left for them to eat. But the little stuff would have survived off the little molds and kind of underbrush and stuff like that, like the little rat-like creatures that we would have evolved from. So anyways, it's a big-ass crater. That tends to be the one that I lean towards, and I think that's the one that most paleontologists lean towards because it's as close to a smoking gun as you're going to get. You'll often hear paleontologists use that phrase where they're like, Ah, oh, the smoking gun is what we're looking for. That's a very popular phrase in paleontology. It's as close to what you're going to get out of it. I shouldn't have killed that Spinosaur. I regret it now. I should have tamed that one. Damn it. I fucked up. Oh, well, we'll find one over here. Let's see if we can lock one down. You get a bunch of experience for killing Spinosaurs, by the way. So if you're trying to farm up XP, not a bad idea. Anyways, that tends to be my favorite one. Hey, Angry Kuko or Kucho. Hey, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. But yeah, anyways, that tends to be the one that I've subscribed to. I think the next one after that is more than likely some kind of epidemic, like something that they just weren't ready for, like some random viral strain or something like that that wiped them out. Because in human history, we have, like, the Spanish flu, for example, was a major threat to humans for a little while. Like, it fucked us up really, really badly. The Black Plague wiped us out really, really badly. Something like that would have thinned out the dinosaurs pretty well as well. But still... Viral epidemics very rarely result in extinctions because there's a small proportion of every single population that will survive these things. I do like the Carno quite a lot, Poppin. I like the Carno. Oh, I missed one, Nitro? I'll go back and I'll look. Well, I didn't want to go over the battle, though, because I was lagging really bad if it was over there. The super rich oxygen would have happened by a result, so the oxygen density would have gone down because when you have the ash cloud that covers the planet for a while from the explosion, it would have depleted the amount of plants that are around, and so I assume that probably would have helped out once the planet was no longer like an entirely lush rainforest that had thin out the oxygen density pretty well, once again removing the amount of oxygen you would need in the air to support something like a brontosaurus or an apatosaurus. I don't know, though. I only mine. I didn't even minor in paleontology, to be honest. I could have. I was a couple of credits away from minoring in paleontology, but... I think my girlfriend minored in it. Hmm. Did you minor in paleontology? I don't think she hears me. Anyways, I think my girlfriend minored in paleontology. I didn't get the minor. But yeah. The Black Plague is one of those things, like, that's actually kind of scary. Like, can you imagine living during that time period? That would have totally sucked. That would have been brutal. Like, just everybody dying? Like, one day you just start to grow giant cysts on you and you just die, like, overnight? God damn, that would suck. I I think the megalodons in this game are kind of small, aren't they? Like, I thought megalodons were supposed to be, like, 50-foot sharks. Like, they're supposed to be goddamn huge. And then again, war is a pretty good way that we thin each other out, too, as human beings. So there you go. Where the hell, like, it's seriously, I have to duck Spinosaurs like every 30 seconds when I'm traveling, but now that I want to find one, I can't find one anywhere. Damn it. Spinosaurus. Where am I right now on the map, by the way? Hold on, I'm bugged. I gotta go land real fast. Fix my map. I am, oh, I'm still on my island. That might be why. Okay, so maybe if we jump across a little ways. Let me see. Oh, no, I'm stuck inside a log. Let's go over here, maybe. We'll follow this beach and we'll see what's going on. Oh, Megalodon's 100 feet long. Okay, so that's a big-ass animal right there. Let's 
kind of float around for a little bit. It took forever to train the Brano, by the way. It took like two and a half hours, I think. And from what I understand from the wiki, I got lucky. My training was like super short because he was level one. If you're training like a level 35 Brano, that'll take forever. Got a T-Rex over here. We could go after him. I don't know how long that would take. I'd prefer that he be closer to home, though. So something don't come along and eat his ass. Also, it'd be a little bit risky trying to tame him over here. I I don't know. He's a little bit far away from home. And so what I like to do is I like to knock him out, and then I just go do other stuff for a while, and I just come back and check on him periodically so I don't have to worry about it the entire stream or the entire thing. Uh, I like Ark a lot. I think it's probably one of the better survival games. I think that Beasts of Prey is another one that's pretty decent, but Beasts of Prey suffers from having too small of a team to accomplish what they want to do. I think that Beasts of Prey has, like, Jeeps and stuff, though, which are pretty cool. Like, I wish you could build, like, 4x4s and stuff in this game, but you can't. Like, I wish you could get, like, a Jeep or, like, an outfit or whatever to bring along with you. Yeah, three hours without prime meat, so that one will take a little bit. It's all good, Neptune. If you got a sleeper, go do whatever. Take care. Gold pig, I'll see you later, buddy. Thanks for coming. You're quite welcome. If I got a spino, what would I name him? I don't know. I might give him, like, a unique name that doesn't conform to, like, the nasty crew thing that we've had going on the entire time. I might give him, like, a special name just because, like... He's a special dinosaur. Like, he's kind of stands out from the crowd there. I think he'd be, like, one of those dudes that is to be reckoned with. I'd probably actually only bring him along, too, when we went out, because he's so goddamn big. I'd rather have a Spino than a T-Rex, in all fairness, too. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of T-Rex like some people are. Some people really, really like T-Rex. I kind of like Spino. I can't wait for the Demetrodon to be in game, too. I like Demetrodons as well, the ones with the big fan on their back that look like iguanas with those big spiky things. But yeah, ooh, 100, 230 viewers. Welcome, everybody. To all of my lurkers, how's it going? I know that there's always, like, less people chatting than there is actually watching, so I appreciate you all being here. So that shout-out goes to the lurkers who don't necessarily want to talk, but support the channel by hanging out and just watching and being entertained. Well, damn. I think we're kind of out there right now. Feeding all my meat to my damn, to my damn Petri over here. No, I haven't traded a Spino yet. That's what we're looking for right now. I'm trying to train one right now, but I can't find one. I killed the only one that was near my island, and unfortunately I'm regretting it now. I may log out and log back in to let it respawn the dinos, because it's looking like... I think I turned down the dino spawn rate, too, because I got tired of there being dinos everywhere. So let's go back to base real fast. I'm going to re-log and see if it respawns the dinos, because at the moment I'm having trouble finding a Spino. Usually they're everywhere, but I can't seem to find one right now. Like, our island is a hot spot for Spinos, so I'm not sure what's going on here. Jump off real fast. I'm going to grab the meat out of here, too, because I don't want to starve. We'll go... Oh, it didn't cook any of the meat. Oh. How come it's not cooking any of the meat? Is the cook pot different from the campfire? Shit. Well, that sucks. That's a big old waste of time and wood. Well, damn. Okay, I didn't expect that to fail. I thought that that would work perfectly fine. Okay, never mind then. I gotta grab some wood out of here real fast. We'll make a campfire real quick. And once we make a campfire, do I have enough wood left to make a campfire? I hope that I doth. There it is. Apparently, the cook pot does not cook, like, any of the stuff that we need it to by default. We gotta do something else here. I guess I'll bring the next one over here by the front door, I guess. Ooh, campfire right there. I wouldn't have destroyed the other one had I known. I'll probably just sit that one right there then. We'll throw... I got, what, 33 wood right there? Okay, so let's throw a full stack of meat in real fast. Let that cook for a minute. I was hoping that would be done. And then I'm going to relog the game real fast so that it respawns some of the dinos because it looks like... Um, yeah, Dictum. I think that we might run into something. I don't know. Weird stuff going on. I think I lowered the... Let me see here. Yeah, I lowered the dino count by a little bit, so that might be my problem, too. Although it doesn't appear to be adjusting anything anyways. There we go. Now it's working for some reason. Eh. I don't know. Apparently that moves things around. Ooh, you can make the game harder, too, huh? Might not be a bad plan, considering how easy I'm cakewalking through everything. 
Let's try this again. Hopefully that didn't reset my game. If that reset my game, I'm going to cry. I'm going to weep. Yeah, I need to find a server to play on. I think I was thinking about doing a second season of Ark where I play multiplayer on a PvP server. Like a violent PvP server. But we'll see what happens. I do need an Ankylosaurus. I'm not a fan of A Tribe Called Quest. In fact, I probably couldn't tell you a couple of their songs, but I do like funky music. Funky ass music. I got myself a funk Pandora that I listen to all the time, though. Pretty awesome. I like funk music. It's easy to get into. You'd be sitting there driving down the streets like, mmm, feeling funky. People always look at you funny, though. People always look at you super funny when you're listening to funk. It's because I'm a white guy, I think. I think that's why. They'd be like, this white guy's funky. And I'd be like, hell yeah, I'm funky. Not just because I haven't bathed in three days. Am I overweighed right now? Oh, I'm carrying around a bunch of rocks. That's what it is. I got a ton of rocks in my inventory. There you go. Let's move that over. I played Battlefield 2 on my Xbox back when I used to play it. My Xbox 360. We got more spoiled meat. Well, shit. We might as well make use of that then. Let's get after it. Might as well get some XP out of it. I think, yeah, we got plenty of narco berries left. We'll just throw those in there. That's not enough to make it worth it, though. Probably, eh, that'll make me like five, maybe. Like, not very many, I don't think. Oh, never mind. 27. Oh, that's right, it only takes one meat. For some reason, I was thinking reverse, like it takes five meat to get one of those done. Never mind, I'm dumb. Let's see if it respawned our dinos or not. If it didn't, we may have to get a spino that's like way out in the boonies somewhere. I should get a turtle, too. I don't have any turtles. I think a turtle might be pretty dope. The turtles eat meat. Ooh, there's a purple beacon over there. Let's go get a purple beacon while we're looking around. There are a lot more dinosaurs now that I turn that up. Now that I fix it, there's dinosaurs everywhere. I think we're gonna find anything over here the downside to like I really like flight in this game like seriously flying dinosaurs are the shit but the downside to the flying dinosaurs is that they eat through meat really really rapidly makes you super sad has this one even spawned in yet what's going on with this it may not have spawned yet oh it's still way up there near the top okay I'll keep an eye on it there's no reason to like wait for it right now just a waste of time Waste of time. So I don't see a spino around here. I don't see one over there neither. They tend to be over here in this little river, but I don't know where they all went. I only killed like one of them. Apparently they don't respawn. Shiggity, what the hell are you doing? Either way, as long as he regenerates his stamina, I don't even care. take a look I actually don't play MOBAs very often it's one of those genres that I feel like they're utterly impenetrable like there's no point starting up as a League of Legends player right now like you'll never be able to catch up to the people that are better than you it's kinda like starting up a counter-strike right now there's just no point like unless you're like 13 if you're 13 go for oh there's one right there okay Ooh, we had an albino t-rex that might be worth it if I can land the shots on him kinda depends though Put it down right here. Ooh, there's a bunch of onions growing over here. That's what they look like to me, anyways. Let me see if I can hunt this little bastard. It's kind of a big bastard, but you get what I mean. I don't know if I can make that shot from here. That's probably going to overshoot him, maybe. Yeah, I think that was overshot. Looks like he's fighting with a stego right now. I think I got him with that one. Knock his ass out. Although right now I'm having trouble determining whether or not I'm hitting the Stegosaurus or him. I don't know what this dude's going to do once I start hitting him. I'm not entirely sure. I'm also missing a lot, so that's going to be the other problem. Right there is where I want him lined up from. And if we can knock him out, it'll make my life a lot easier. I don't even know if he notices that I'm shooting him. If he comes straight up the mountain. Yeah, I'm going to have a major fuck that moment if he comes straight up the mountain. That should be terrifying. Let's get him. Let's get him, Dougie. Get him. I don't know if I brought my narcotics with me. This might not work out. I may have to go get my narcotics real quick. 
Hopefully his narcotics run out slowly. How many does it take to knock out a Tyrannosaurus? A lot. And my bow's about to break too. He's being all weird and glitchy. Uh, and there goes my last shot right there. Do I have the stuff on me to repair this? Hopefully. We're gonna have to do this the ghetto way. Okay, so what am I missing? I need eight wood, that's not hard to get. Let's grab it. They call me the tail gunner. There it is. Let's repair this thing real fast. I gotta stop it and escape. I'm playing too much Terraria. Nah, it doesn't matter. We can knock him out just with... He's like bugged out inside the mountain right now. There we go. Now you're unconscious. We can be friends. Alright, let me go grab Shiggity real fast and we'll go down there and we'll take a look at him. I think my base is over there. I don't have any narcotics with me right now, so he might wake up. That might have been a waste of my time, but meh, it's so easy to make trank arrows. Who cares? I'll knock him out again if I have to. So he's down here on this side. Let's take a little look. Female Rex. Yeah, I didn't bring any narcotics with me because I'm an idiot. Anyways, it looks like his torpor doesn't go down that fast, so we'll go ahead and throw some meat on this guy. And then, that's it's probably going to take most of this meat to get this thing tamed. Use those on myself real fast. Wow, that hunger goes down super slowly. You ever notice how you never find a dinosaur with empty hunger? Like, ever? Like, they're all full for some reason? Let's go back and get the, uh, we'll get the narcotics and we'll come back and have ourselves an albino Tyrannosaurus Rex. Gotta watch this one. I may try and knock out, I may grab a couple of stacks of berries and try and knock out an Ankylosaurus while we're out of here too. Let me make sure that I'm going in the right direction before I go any further. Yeah, that's what I figured. Hey, what's up? Uh, Cole, hey, how's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm going to try and get this guy locked down right here. Might actually be kind of around the... Okay, so... I would say we just got to go over to the beacon and then over the top of the mountain and hopefully we'll go get him. I don't know. I might lose this dinosaur. I apologize in advance if I lose this dinosaur. He's really far away from home, and so I don't trust that for... Whenever I have a dinosaur that's hella far away from home, I tend to lose them and just, like, not do it properly. The purple beacon's a pretty good marker, though, for the river that we need. Hey, what's up, Captain Skirts? Welcome to the stream. Uh, my girlfriend, actually, she doesn't want to be on the channel. Like, she wants it just to be, like, my thing. I don't know. People on the internet are kind of, like, cruel and dickish, and so I... Honestly, I respect that decision. I wouldn't subject anybody to, like, the scrutiny of the internet if they didn't want to be on it because frankly I'll tell you the first time I did a video log the first thing somebody posted was like you look like a faggot and I'm like oh well see welcome to the internet like and it's just if it's that quick like it's just they're just cruel on the internet people are just vicious people are the worst and so anyways I wouldn't force anybody to like be on the internet that doesn't want to be I need I need narcotics that's what I needed I need narcotics I need narcotics now let me access this real fast. But yeah, that was like my first comment on my first video log. And I was like, gee, thanks. <laughs> I appreciate the vote of confidence. Jesus. People. Some people. Uh, my kid's name is Ollie. There we go. We'll grab that. I'm going to let the wood... I'm going to get the... I'm going to let the wood be taken care of, I guess. Where did... Where did Shiggity go? Shiggity, where did you run off to? You over here? Alright, cool. Yeah, little guy's Ollie. Big guy is Maxwell. Maxwell was annoying as hell today, too. I don't know what was up with my cats. My cats were just being terrible today. They were just being mouthy and obnoxious and just kind of just like running off in the mouth all day. I don't know. They've both been kind of just vicious today. Max Damage, what is up? Welcome to the stream. No, I don't have... I got kittens right now. And so I don't have a kid. I don't know what I would do with a kid. I would be a horrible father. Not me. Nope. I'm going to leave the beacon there for right now. 
I think that if we just follow this river over here, we should find our way back to our Tyrannosaurus, I think. I hope, anyways. I don't know if I turned the corner right there. I may or may not have. So ahead, a medium crop plot. I already have that one. I already learned it, so don't need it. Just going to leave it there so I can use the beacon as a locational device. And then as we go this way... Yeah, I did. I turned left up here, I think. Or did I turn right? No, the beach was this way. This way! Almost positive he's like right here at the base of this mountain, right? Right? Did I screw this up? The beach was on my right. I know for a fact the beach was on my right. So either way, he was at one of these rock outcrops. If we lose him, eh, it'll suck. Like, I'll be a little bit upset, but it wouldn't be the first time. I lose dinosaurs constantly. Especially, that's why I prefer to tame them close to home. Because then if I forget my kit... Hmm, maybe he was back this way a little bit further. Let's go look. It's okay. That dinosaur was fed up for a while, so... Eh, to put the push pins on your map, you gotta be on foot. And so you land on the ground and you press the P key with your map out. And you'll be able to put push pins in your map, but the, you have to type it in by hand, so they're a little bit weird. What just tried to attack me? Dilophosaurus? Hmm. Appears to be gone. This is odd. I thought he was on this outcrop right here. I thought. Oh, good, a Carnotaur is just what I wanted to deal with right now. No! No Carnotaurs, not right now. Go away. I don't love you. So he's not in here. We've got a while to deal with it, so it's not that bad, but I figured this was probably going to happen. Figured this was probably going to happen. I thought he was, like, right here when I looked. All right, Stagiest, I'll see you later. Yeah, I see you, make Squiggle. Unfortunately, there's such a long delay between people saying things that by the time I see it in chat, unfortunately, it tends to not be super useful when people give me directional advice. I know it was to the left, because the left is the only side that has the outcroppings right here. Oh, yeah, the onions. I forgot about the onions. Is there a possibility that he's just, like, gone? Where does little shit stain go? Hmm... No onions up there. So it wasn't this beach. Yeah, I thought he was a little bit further to the right on the map too, but I'll go look at just a second. No, he's not right here. We already checked that. I don't see any onions over here neither. Hmm, maybe I went something way back in this direction. I don't know. We'll follow the outcrops until we find him. It's not that big of a deal. I mean... If I was like, if it was the beginning of the game and I was still stressed out about where I'm going to get more narcotics. All these pteranodons seem pretty happy right now. I'm going to land down here and let him refuel real fast. Wait for you. Alright, jump back on. One of these random beaches of dino lag over here. I hate that reflective quality they gave the map, too. That shit drives me nuts. Well, there's an albino over there. I don't know if it's ours, but... Shit balls. Well, fuck. I don't think he was on the other... Was he on the other side? He wasn't on the other side, I don't think, because the beach was on this side. I knew I should have push-pinned it. I didn't think about it, though. Didn't think about... Oh, there he is right there. You guys are absolutely right. Okay, I'm a fucking idiot. You guys were correct. He's knocked out on this side. <laughs> Apparently, I don't pay attention to his shit when I'm running around. There's a T-Rex right there, so I'm going to hang out up here. I'm not going down there. There he is. Damn! Hella T-Rex is over there. T-Rexes don't appear to be social either, like I wouldn't expect them to be. Is 
So apparently everybody was right except for me. Ty the Mighty, you click the little thing that says subscribe underneath. There will either be the purple button or you can actually click the icon underneath in my little channel description that says donate and subscribe and all that. Alright, so how you feeling, Big Dino? How you feeling? How you feeling? But if he's glitched out in the wall, I'm going to be so upset. Let's see what we can accomplish here. Female Rex. Okay. Level 3, so this shouldn't take too long, comparatively. I kind of like it when they're lower level 2 because it makes my life easier. Go drop a bunch of those in there. That'll probably fill them up pretty good. I think it'll get like 40 or 30 from each one, and 10 of them will put them up. 300 or 400. Actually training pretty quickly. Eh, well, no, not really. Never mind. Not going up quickly at all. We should probably... How do I want to do this? That actually took a lot more narcotics than I expected. Um, Twitch, the donations come to me, so Twitch doesn't get any part of my donation. The company that does my little pop-ups, though, that give you the little animation or whatever, the Twitch alerts, they take 1%, but that's more than worth it just to have those little things pop up so that I'm aware of what's happening right now. But yeah, donations, it's mostly untouched. Like, nobody touches that. With the subscriptions, Twitch takes 60%, I think, and they give me 40 I've been super test meeting a lot of things lately. I feel kind of guilty about it. I've been super lazy about that shit. I'll probably just leave him over here and just like do my thing. We'll go like, what is this? We're on the 70 line for that one, and then we're sort of at like. I think that's 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, maybe for longitude. See how close we get. Yeah, there we go. All better. Like, I could probably just leave this guy here and not have to worry about it much. The torpor does go down pretty quickly, but not so rapidly as to make me, like, worried about it. They should have enough meat on this dino to make sure that it gets done. And so what I may do here... I hear the sound of something large coming, and I don't want to be on the receiving end of it. So we could go out and hunt. I could actually bring a land party back out here. And we could farm up prime meats to make it go a little bit quicker. I think... I don't know what I'm going to call her. She matches Gash Nasty, though, so eh, we'll see what happens. I... Let's bring... Well... I'm not that far out. So we could probably bring a land party back, because I need to hunt anyways. So that'll fill in a whole bunch of time. I don't know if we'll make it back, though, before it untames. We'll see what happens. I bet it'll be fine. I'm willing to risk it. Probably not that big of a risk. We'll probably be all right. So I'm going to go over here. We're going to go back to base as rapidly as we can, unless I'm going inland like an idiot. Oh, there's a hop right there. Okay, so that's a little bit odd. I mean, it's totally acceptable. But actually, if I follow this around to the beach, that might be the easier way to get back to the wrecks. We got like 30 minutes left. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm just going to use up the rest of our time like getting random things done. I got it marked on the map, and I should be able to make it back so long as I don't get too lost. You've got quite a long time before it happens, so we might be able to do it. Oop, didn't want to do that. I will land right here, though, for a second to get you your stamina back. Should probably... Oop, I gave all the meat to my other dinosaur. Never mind, you got to be hungry for a little while, Shiggity. Sorry. Sucks to be you. Bad day to be to Shiggity. Bad day to be to Shiggity. Okay, so in order to get on, I'll like turn around over to here. There it is. That's my beach. I recognize it. And so if I go back over here, I should be able to follow this on up. 
and it'll probably be okay. Ugh, kitten wants in. Hold on. Kitten, I'm on a time limit right now. I hope you know. He's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm a kitten, and I want what I want. Enable following. Enable following. Enable following. And I need you. Are you guys all following? I need Flash as well. Flash, you come with me. Uh, all right, so we'll take you guys, and then... How much weight am I carrying right now, out of curiosity? Oh, shit, no! Oh, I made the biggest mistake ever. I hit the J key on accident. Yeah, I don't need that right now at all. Damn it, that sucks. Can't see worth ass either, because this game is too dark. It's like every other game on Earth. I don't know what it is with survival games. I'm making it, like, pitch black outside. It's, seriously, you can see perfectly fine at night. Developers need to go outside more often. Like, go camping and stuff. And I'm missing one of my dinos. If you would stop slapping me with your tail, you idiot. They need to remove the clipping planes from tails, too. Make the game a lot more easy to play. Alright. Shit! I've hit you instead of I. God damn it. It's way too difficult to control your dinosaurs right now once they're all in random spots. There we go. So here, let's just get away from home now so I can't screw this up anymore. You guys all come with me. And we need to cross the island. Once we cross it, we'll head right down the beach, and we should be able to make it down over there before anything else goes too markedly wrong. I think I got everybody with me that I like to have in my hunting party. So let's go. Collision geometry. Collision geometry, huh? They changed the terminology on me. Bastards. Bastards always changing the terminology on me. So we gotta follow this all the way on down. And honestly, I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough narcotics to make this happen. I probably should have picked up more of those while I was out here, too. I've got like 200 of the damn things, but I don't hear walking. Oh, good. Should probably kill a couple things while I'm out here too to make sure that we got enough meat to make everybody get fed. Then again, we should have fertile hunting ground on that other location. I think I'll probably just try and get over there as rapidly as possible. Let's go for it. If I can cut across right here, we should be good. It's taking longer. I really, really tend to underestimate how long it takes me to get around without a flyer. Hey, what's up, Tony? Welcome to the stream, man. Welcome, welcome. Kitten, what are you doing, buddy? He likes to stick his head under the door because he's tiny, and then he just screams at me the whole time. Here, hold on. I'm gonna go let him in. There he is right there. He's growing. He's getting larger every single day. What are you doing right now? What are you doing? He's spazzing out. He's in crazy kitty mode. Here. You're on camera right now. People are seeing you being naughty and not, like, adhering to the criteria that I need you to adhere. Kick me with your nasty little litter paw. You sick. You sick, little buddy. Oh, you're going to bite me now? That's how it's going to be? I who feed you and make sure that the rent gets paid? Oh, he wants to sleep. So, when I first got him... I know that kittens like comfort blankets, and so I took one of my jackets that I don't wear that much anymore, and I used it as a bed for him, and the, he, that's what he wants. He doesn't want me. He wants the... There's a jacket anyways. There we go. Get rid of that mega piranha. That thing is all up in my business right now. But anyways, he likes that jacket. He falls asleep like the second you put him on it. That's what he wants. He's actually already asleep over there. He jumped out of my lap and got on the... Uh, Got on the blanket, and now he's out. Or he got on the jacket, and now he's out. Yep, that's what he want. He actually, he nurses on the side of the jacket. It's weird. He's ruined the jacket. It's all crispy and gross from his spit. But yeah, he nurses on the jacket still, even though he's older. I've never seen, like, a cat continue to do that shit. I don't know. 
follow this thing around. We're already on the right island, so we should be good to go. And then we'll wait this thing out. And if he's not tamed by the end of this, I don't know. We'll probably end up super test meeting him or whatever. It's not a big deal to me. Do we still have everybody with us? Good. Awesome. Oh, yeah? You like it, Zachary Che? I'm glad you like the channel. Like, sometimes, like, seriously, like, self-doubt is a major part of, like, creating anything. And sometimes it just feels like nobody likes my content when they're like, Arr! Like, sometimes I feel like... It's because I compare subscriber numbers to view counts. That's my problem. I'd be like, well, I wish that everybody would come to this series. And the thing is, I do a variety channel. And so the thing about doing a variety channel on YouTube is that you tend to split your audience a lot of different ways. But yeah, either way, self-doubt is a very real thing when you work on YouTube. Hey, what's up, Ryden? Welcome to the stream. Woo, there we go. I like a gas bubble right here or something. Drink my soda too fast. I love those things, these rock star punches. Oh my god, they're so good. Hey, are you you're stuck inside of there, aren't you? Okay. Well, I should have known better. I should I knew when I crossed under that thing this was gonna happen. There we go. Let's see if I can get it destroyed real fast. I need wood anyways, so that's cool. We may have weighed down the raptor though. Yeah, I weighed down the raptor. Shit. I could put all this stuff back on. I could put all this stuff on gash right now, but whatever. We'll just ride down the beach and I'll handle it in a minute. I'm going to try and get as many things killed and tamed out here as I can because when I make time to go all the way out here and go out on field excursions with like all my pets and whatnot, I hate it when I don't accomplish anything. And so how far out are we right now? Not that far. I think he's right around this turn actually. Zed Slayer, hey, what's going on? Well, there's two cats that I have. One of them was drawn by a guy named Aggie Goat. Or Goethe. I don't really know how to pronounce his name. It's got a whole bunch of, like, umlauts and stuff on it. So, unfortunately, we don't use that punctuation here in the U.S., so I don't even know what sound they make most of the time. But anyways, one of them is a cat in Space Marine armor from Warhammer 40K. I think that's the tail right there. Yep, there he is. Knock the hell out. We found him at night, too. See, that's the thing, is you gotta use the push pin, that's the secret. This brontosaurus would make for a good dinner. But I'm gonna give it a second. Really? You're walking around, he's like, yeah, fuck that T-Rex. Now that you knock him around, brontosaurus gonna walk on that ass. And then I'm gonna poop on him. Ugh. Poop on a T-Rex. See what's up. All day. In the sun. Brontosaurus, ride. Alright, so you're not even, like, part of the way there right now. So I'm gonna get those going. And now that that's ticking back up. I Splash Nasty. That's not bad. I hadn't thought about that one. Good job. That one's pretty killer. I may do Splash Nasty. I gotta get him, like, unstuck from the walls, though, first. He's, like, in a weird spot right now. I don't know if I want to fight these things. I kind of want to kill... Mm, this is kind of like one of those areas where you could get AoE to death if you're not careful. And they won't be able to get the attacks off that you want to get off. So instead... The way that I would personally do this. There are so many brontosauruses over here. Jesus. They're everywhere. See, the brontosauruses, what happens is they cross streams with each other when they attack. And it can be very, very difficult to kill brontosauruses if there's more than one of them. Like, one brontosaurus is super easy to kill. Two or three brontosauruses, they keep you airborne the entire time, and so you can't get any attacks off. And it can be kind of a pain in the ass. They would be a pretty good source of prime meat right now, though. Let me go down the beach and see if I can pick off one of the stragglers first. You guys still with me? Okay, because we're walking up on a Carnotaur right now, so... I need you guys to... What's wrong with that Carnotaur? He's stuck? Dick. Let me murder him real fast. Level 6 Carnotaur over here. See if we can get some prime meat off his ass. Nope, no prime meat, although these guys harvest too, so sometimes you gotta check them just to make sure. Gotta check them to make sure. No prime, oh, you leveled up though, good for you buddy, good on you. I actually, I need you to be higher level anyways because he still runs the risk of dying when he goes up against things because he's got less than a thousand HP. No prime meats right there. I think I'm gonna pick off this one right here. The T-Rex over there too, so that'd do it. Try not to get my skull bashed in by this thing's tail though. Alright, you guys with me? Go get him, boys. Go get him. 
He's gonna come over here and he's gonna be real upset. You guys wanna get on that right now? I'm gonna try and shoot him in the head a couple of times just to make this easier, but... Hell, I might be able to kill him with headshots. I'm not really so sure. Oh my god, he's trying to bite me. Don't bite me, herbivore. He's like, why? Why are you shooting me? No, my eyeball! That side of my head is forever marred. Ow. Woo! He broke my boots with one hit? Damn. Zero fucks given. There it is. Kill that. Ooh, he's flying. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Zero fucks given by that, Brano. There's a prime. There's another one. That's exactly what I was looking for. Okay, so let's head back down the beach. See, these ones are too closely clustered where I'd be a little bit concerned we wouldn't be able to kill them before the AoEs killed off some of my dinos or me, which is even worse. Their attack does like 80 damage or something like that, so if you don't have armor on... Like, you saw he broke my boots with like one hit. Hey, what's up, Boombats? Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Let's take all this prime meat back so at least he's eating that. Oh, I turned off the ground shake. It probably would shake if I hadn't turned it off. The ground shake annoys the hell out of me just because Gash Nasty follows me around and he does the ground shake. And so I feel like it's, everything's like constantly booming around here and it drives me nuts. I could probably get that Brano right there and some of these Ankylosauruses if I really, really wanted to. Let's go ahead and throw the prime meat up on this guy and hope that it doesn't rot before we get a chance to use it. couple of prime meats right there. Five minutes, and that one's got five minutes on it, too. He'll eat those first, given half a chance, but... Use a couple more narcotics while I'm over here. I wish these were spread out wide enough to where I could kill them off right now. Unfortunately, it would get rid of some of the frame lag that we're having right now, because those things have, like, a huge poly count. If you don't know what that means, it's the little polygons they're made out of. They got a huge poly count, so they tend to lag out the game. Because each of the little spines on their back has like 15 polys in it. Like they made the little spikes too detailed on them. There are a lot of ankylosauruses over here. Damn. And they're all going to like mob on me once I start killing them. Mm. This is risky business over here. This is risky business. Alright Stego, you're up next. You're the most isolated, so I think you're probably the first target I'm going to be able to take. These guys over here. Oh, they're so close, and they're all mate boosted, too. They're all low level, though. The big problem lies in if I shoot one of these dudes, it, we may aggro the Brontosaurus on accident. That's what I always worry about when it comes to the big guys. Additionally, it's super easy to accidentally hit the brontosauruses when you're harvesting, too. I died a bunch of times when I first started playing the game because of that. Their hitbox is enormous. Like, it's way bigger than you expect it to be. Got 15 minutes left. I think I can probably get that one right there. I think it's far enough away to where I can kill it before the rest of them come to help it out. It may still be mate boosted, though, so... All I can do is hope that this is like a sausage fest of brontosauruses over here. That or a bun fest, whatever you want to call it. Are you mate boosted right now? Yay, nay, you're not? Okay, good. Because I'm gonna shoot you. And it's gonna suck for you, but only for a second. There you go, go get him, Chief. Go get him, Chief. Ow, he knocked me way back. Damn, son. Go get that Brano. There we go, so one Brano down right there. I don't know if they're aggroed right now. Are they? I can't tell. Eh. Man, we killed him majestically over a rock. That's pretty cool. Harvest off his tail real fast. So many hides. I just need prime meat. That's all that I care about. I don't care about any of the other stuff. Sorry, guys. I've been zoning out. I should be paying better attention to all of you. It's my bad. I get really, really focused when things get, like, down to the wire. Like, those right there would definitely kill every single pet that we have right now if I messed it up and pulled them wrong. So I prefer to avoid that as an outcome. It kind of looks like that one's following me, though. I'm not sure. Hold on. Let me throw the rest of the prime meat over here. And then we'll get moving. Just in I think he is aggroed. I don't know. He's walking a little bit aggressively towards me. So let's walk away real fast. 
I think he's following me. I can't tell though. He might be split up. Let me see. I gotta see if he's mate boosted. He mate boosted. Oh, he tried to shit on me. He tried to murder me with a turd. Little bastard. Yeah, see what you get. Ow, my gauntlets. Those were my favorite gauntlets. Okay, so another one bites the dust. Hey, what's up, Splatter Kitten? How's it going, man? How is it going? I'm gonna harvest some meat off this guy right here. Yeah, get that prime. Ugh. See, that's the problem with the dinosaur world is people give me out subprime meat loans. Grab these over here. Yup, sir. We've actually killed a bunch of these dinos now. We're doing pretty well at splitting the herd. We lucked out on that. Yeah, we almost got shit on. That would have sucked. That would be hella funny, though, if you could be crushed by brontosaurus shit and die. That'd be hilarious. That'd be going up on the channel tomorrow. Only two minutes on that one. Only one minute on that one. They're probably going to go bad before he actually eats them. Still, I can give it a go. I heard that if you force feed them spoiled meat, it makes them throw up. And it lowers their food or whatever, but I don't know. May or may not be true. I can't take too many more hits from brontosauruses. That's for surely. Oh good, he ate the one that was about to expire first. Good. Absolutely awesome right there. That seems to be doing a lot more damage though to his little bar. Definitely seems to be doing a little bit more wrecking damage. Okay. So if I can keep, if I can keep him stocked up on Prime, this actually won't take too long. I think he should have time with the other ones to eat him. My gloves is broke. Pretty soon I'm going to be walking around all naked. You're looking like a hobo out here instead of having awesome plate mail made out of bugs. Eh. Alright, let me get my headphones back on here. I haven't heard for like five seconds, and I'm sure there's been like a hundred donations. And I've missed every single one of them because I'm an asshole like that, and I don't keep my headphones on. Let's refill all the water real quick. Yeah, I think we may go through narcotics faster than we actually tame these things out. I don't know. We'll see what happens here. Yeah, Kylosaurus has seemed like they've split up a little bit better. So it may be worth it. There was a T-Rex over here somewhere, too, at some point. Do I have any, like, normal arrows in here? I only have two normal arrows. Shit. I don't want to use any more bullets. It's kind of a waste of my bullets. Hmm. Can you imagine how loud a, bron like, how loud a brontosaurus fart would have to be? They have to be like, bwah, bwah. You hear it from, like, three blocks away. You're like, damn, a brontosaurus just farted. And it would still be funny. I would laugh every single time. Sends out like a shockwave that kills people like a nuclear bomb. Hey, what's up, Zach Attack? How's it going, man? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, I don't want to get the Stego because the reason is if I hit the Stego, the Stego's got a pretty good aggro. He's got a pretty big hitbox around his tail, too, and he might hit the Brontosaurus. And then once the Brontosaurus is aggroed, we're all fucked because the first time it attacks, it's going to hit all the Ankylosauruses, and it's just going to turn into a clusterfuck of lag. I would assume elephant farts are pretty loud because horse farts are hella loud. So I assume that it goes up exponentially with the size of the animal. Horse farts are hella loud, so I would assume that all the other farts would be pretty loud too. Get him, Raptor! Come on, get in there, everybody. Help him. Get in there. Fuck him up. Get him. There it is. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. I don't know what these drop, so... I assume not very much is the answer to that question. Have you leveled up yet? You have not leveled up yet. Sauropod vertebra, just in case you wanted to carry around a whole bunch of sauropod vertebra for some reason. I think you gotta use them to summon like one of the bosses or something like that. You got arrows. I'll take those. Do you have arrows, sir? You do. You have 50 of them. Well, hell yeah. Okay, it makes my life easier. Hey, Dash, you leveled up. Take more HP. Become indestructible. Eaten by my keezies. Ow! Tail range, it's huge. They be hitting everybody up in here. Damn. Oh, dude, I want a rocket launcher so bad in this game. You said rainbow launcher, but if I gotta get a rocket launcher, this game would be so much. Wait, you have inventory? Hold on, what's in your inventory? How can you only hold 25 pounds? You're a Bronto. World's weakest Bronto. Can't carry more than 25 pounds. I don't feel like we're getting, like, good XP for this either. It's another one over there. We basically hunted out this entire beach. 
go back, throw the prime meat on this bad boy over here, and this bad girl, I guess. I wanna know what these little, like, bony protrusions are all over my T-Rex. Like, weird little meat tumors. Some of that's gonna go, these two are definitely gonna go bad before he gets a chance to eat them. I think. Maybe. Let's go ahead and, yeah, we'll do like ten of those over there. Go ahead and take care of our business on that side. So that'll be nice. That'll be all taken care of. Oh, air strikers would be dope. That'd be amazing too. Like call an aircraft and be like, Psh, Roger, 7 side 6. We've got longitude 76.3450. Oh, you are A-OK -okay to execute. And be like, bah! But the dinosaurs would have to have giblets. Like they'd have to get blown into pieces, otherwise it wouldn't be as fun. Like if he just comes in and hits him with a rock and he just falls over, I'd be bored. But they need to come in and hit it with the bombs and then the brontosaurus has to go and explode everywhere in meat chunks. That's the only way that I'll enjoy it. It sounds sadistic, sure, but, you know, I don't make up the rules for these things. Orbital laser strike. Yeah, like a Command and Conquer. You call down an ion cannon, blow up a dinosaur. Fuck yeah, that'd be so amazing. We just need different ways to annihilate dinosaurs. Wait, you can, st you can feed them stim berries to speed it up? But doesn't that lower the training efficiency if you force feed them berries or things that they don't like or something like that? We're clearing this beach out pretty well. You're we definitely not doing too badly. There's a spino over there. Shoot this big bastard. Hey, you. That's right, I'm trying to get your attention. Ooh, he's quicker than he looks. He's real fast. Hey, you guys want to aggro him instead of letting him hit me first? Go get him. Nasty crew, assemble! I think they're stuck on a rock. That's not good. That's really, really bad. I'm just going to keep shooting him. Yeah! Ooh, that was a level 29. Hell yeah. Okay, level 29. That's a pretty good kill right there. Hell yeah, I'm hunting these dudes out like bison. I would say buffaloes, but you guys already corrected me once. A couple more prime meats up out of that ass, Brontosaurus. Out of that ass. Did you guys level up yet? Who got the kill shot right there? Because that was like a level 29 Bronto. That should have given pretty good XP. Alright, back to the T. The T-Rex is kind of like our base camp right now. Back to the T-Rex! Have little tents and things that are assembled. Did I kill? I forgot to harvest this trike over here. There we go. All taken care of. I am a little bit hungry. I should probably eat something. Do I have food? Hell yeah. Eat my food. Be all full up on dinos. Got prime meats over here ready to go. I got a couple more too, but they go bad in one minute. Like, what's up with that? Why do those go bad so quickly? That annoys the hell out of me. Like, I hate how quickly those things go bad. Like, they need to buff the hell out of that. It's supposed to be prime meat. Like, for the little meats to go bad makes sense, but for the big meats to rot all the way through? I don't know. It just seems like it happens too quickly. But it's definitely making the training go faster. It's going to take a while, but eh, that's the end of our stream anyway, so I'll see y'all later. My name is Splattercat. I will see you all later. Thanks for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next stream. It's been pretty fun. Uh, Bazing Guy, pretty much the whole stream would be what you missed, I guess. I'm taming a T-Rex right now, which is pretty awesome. So anyways, I will see you all on Friday, on Freya's Day. I will see you all there. That's what I like to talk about in terms of the Old Norse gods. You know, it's not like Thursday, it's Thor's Day. It's not Wednesday, it's Wendy's Day, which is the ancient Norse god of, I don't know what the hell Wendy was a god of. Either way, I'll see y'all later. Thanks for coming, everybody. Thanks for the donations. Welcome to our new subscribers. Thank you to the mods that hang out here and make sure that the chat stays nice and clear. I do appreciate what you guys do. If you ever want to set up a PayPal just for the mods, I mean, you guys can do that. I mean, I wouldn't mind. I'll put a link down in the description for you and everything. If people want to donate to the mods, just, you know, give them a little incentive to be here. I will see you all later. Hi, do, everybody.